What's up guys, Acer Thorn here, and this is gonna be a first impressions playthrough of The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Now I've got the Afterbirth DLC also installed, although uh whether or although uh, I mean if I if I decide to refund this game, I'm gonna be refunding the DLC also. So uh this is basically supposed to just be a uh a an action RPG with heavy roguelike elements. How, on the other hand, just the other day I got finished playing the Outriders demo, and that was also supposed to be an action RPG sh shooter, but then it turned out to not e not be an action RPG shooter, just a straight up shooter. So my I am rather cautious about this game. I will give it a fair shake. But don't be upset, don't get all pissy at me if it turns out that I just don't like this game because it's not an action RPG. Because it very clearly states in the marketing that it's an action RPG. So if it's not an action RPG, I'm gonna, not only am I not gonna like the game, I'm gonna feel fucking lied to. Alright, let's get this party started. File number one, new run. Um, normal, uh, yeah, normal difficulty. Basement one. Oh, yeah, by the way, I checked the, um, the, what's, uh, the opening cutscene. Sorry, cat got my tongue there. For, and, and basically, he's running from his deranged fanatical mother who thinks it, she's being given an order from God to kill him. So that's basically uh, what the premise of this game is. And for some reason, they... Ah! So this is basically... Oh! Can I only shoot to the left? Or no, I can shoot... Uh, the face... I there are, there are four shoot buttons... The filler face buttons actually... Ow! Ah! The four face buttons actually dictate which direction I fire. Okay, that's gonna take some getting used to, and I am almost dead already! Ah! First fucking room. And I'm dead as a doornail. Oh dear. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ugh, th okay, these controls are gonna take some fucking getting used to, and frankly, uh, I'm not sure I have the patience for this shit, because f fucking. Ugh! D ow! No, 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 no! Ugh! D no, no, no! Honestly, I'm not sure I have the patience to actually work this shit out. <sighs> because I don't see the I don't see the value in just shaking up the an established control scheme for its own sake, just for the sake of 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 pushing the envelope. That's not the sort of thing that I honestly find see any value in. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Okay, you. Ugh. I I think I'm starting to get the hang of this, but honestly, I don't think feel like I should have to get the hang of this. The, the, I mean, what's wrong with just having a single button for shooting, and then I just shoot? And I just aim in whatever direction my character is facing. What the hell's wrong with that? Oh, great. Back to the beginning. Oh, my God. Whoa! Ah! Okay, no, I... I f Damn. So, right off the bat, that is going to be a huge, huge criticism for me. Or not, it's not going to be. It is a huge criticism for me. Because why the hell... Uh, uh, 
this just serves no purpose other than to make the player more confused. Is this my bo is this a boss fight now? Ah? Shh. Ugh. Oh god. Okay. This boss has way too much health just for a first boss. Frickin' hell. And I'm- I'm still in the position of- I'm still in the habit of- of trying to face my character in the direction he's supposed to aim, even though I know I don't have to do that, because I shouldn't have to get used to a whole new control scheme that only exists because the developers wanted to, quote, try something new. <sighs> Ow. Okay, come on. Whoa! Ow! Motherfucker! Ugh, get your f- Ugh! Okay, now I'm fucking dead again. Oh my god, I go back to the first room. This is a roguelike, so it's- the- the rooms are gonna be randomly generated, so whichever directions I get in the first room are- Oh my- oh, I can't- I forgot! That there's- Oh, for, you know what? No, kill me, kill me, kill me! Fucking hell. Ugh. I'm reminded of something angry video game nerd once famously said. I don't have a problem with challenge, but when the challenge is based on how fucking crippled the controls are, then fuck it. Oh! No, just, just kill me. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh! No, okay, the, no, fuck you, didn't move right there, I just barely avoided that, and that, that, you did not give me enough time to fucking avoid that shit. No, that, <sighs> okay, come here. Oh my god, why don't, Fucking hell, why don't you stay still and fight me like a man? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, you... Okay, dick fucking move right there. You f... So if you're the average YouTube viewer, you're probably thinking that you'd like to support your favorite content creators but you either don't want to or can't afford to spend any money. Well, I did a little poking around and you're in luck. There is a way you can support this channel for the same money you were just gonna be spending anyway, as long as you were otherwise an Amazon.com regular shopper. Look in the description of this video and you should see this Amazon referral link. Clicking on it will take you to an iPhone 11 for sale on Amazon.com. But even if you aren't interested in that iPhone, once you click on that link, you'll have 24 hours to make a purchase. Any purchase on Amazon. As long as you make literally any purchase on Amazon within 24 hours of clicking that link, I will get a cut of the sales revenue. This means that you will be supporting my channel by spending the exact same money you were just going to be spending anyway. Of course, you can also support me in a more direct way for as little as $1 per month by heading over to patreon.com slash acerthorn. Regardless of your method, I hope you choose to support the channel so I can one day do this full time. Alright, resuming the video you all came to see in 3, 2, one. Ugh! I'm already pissed off because this game's fucking controls. And then you pull a cheat move like that on me. Oh, no. Uh, how many more are you shitheads? Ugh. 
keep fucking up. I keep fucking forgetting to remember the damn controls. Oh my god, you split a fucking gen! How? How many more are you? So I guess this is I guess the reason why he's called Isaac is because his parent was given a mission from God to kill him as a showing of devotion to him. Uh, not to, no, to, to, as a showing of devotion to God. Like, because <sighs> that's clear, there, it's obvious what Bible story that they, this is inspired by. But at this point, he's only, he isn't even, that. that's just the, that's just the premise to get Isaac into this uh, roguelike dungeon here. So, if I wasn't already at and if I wasn't, if it wasn't too early for me to end the video here, I would have just said fuck it just on that. I beat the fucking boss. What? It, oh! I'm gonna play for at least a few more minutes just to get a decent length video out of this. No. 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 Oh. Whoa! Ugh. Fuck it. No, no. Kill me. Just kill me. Mother of ass. Whoa. Ah. Come on! Come the pu- Ugh! No. You know what? I'm fucking done. I don't care if the video's too short. I'm not gonna torture myself with this damn game anymore. The controls are fucked up for no reason. The challenge, even barring that, is cheap! And you know what? I I've just- and it it's not even an RPG! Where are my experience points? Where's the actual story, other than the premise? That I didn't even record for you guys, because it has nothing to do with anything. Where's the story? Where's the RPG in this action RPG? And why are the controls so fucked up just for the sake of doing it differently? No. A, no. Fuck this game. Acer Thorn out.